This video is brought to you by my awesome sponsors. Make sure to check out the affiliate links in the description below. Thanks again for all the support. Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Matt and welcome to Gran Turismo 7's Super License Tests. Today we'll be playing as the Toyota GR Yaris RZ High Performance, uh, the, particularly the 2020 model here on the Sardinganya Windmills Circuit Track thing. Oh. Mm. I've hated rally so much because the drivers do some wild drifts and put on the power in weird spots and they're able to get the car to angle at so weird directions and they go way too fast. I am a man who circuit races because the only thing I understand is tarmac and asphalt and concrete. Surface that doesn't move underneath you as you drive over it. And then they're able to like break in weird kind of and like really get the really stop the car. And then here's me where if I even look at the brake pedal, I just slide into the wall. So this one might be one that I rage out at. Yep. Yeah, because they're they're ah, doing that kind of stuff already. And then you go over the hills and then you lose all traction. Arrgh. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Ah. I was so that was so good. Oh, here's the thing though. If you guys are already like, "Oh my god, why can't this guy drive?" Uh, first of all, you are correct. I mean, there's I'm hitting the wall. You guys can hear that, right? <laughs> oh, right at the end, too. The main difference between this and Circuit Racing 2. <sighs> With all the sliding going around, trying to figure out how you hit the exact same point over and over and over again. How the hell did I just do that? <laughs> oh man. I'm not very good at this, but that corner, I'm never going to be able to replicate that again. That was spectacular. I'm starting to get a hang of this a little bit. You have to, it, it's so counterintuitive because when you, in circuit racing, you talk about braking before the corner and then using the power through it. This takes that mentality to the whole next level. Well, you're breaking a quarter mile before you even hit your corner. And then when you, like, get within an eighth of a mile of the corner, you're, like, kicking your back end out, and you're, like, holding it flat on the throttle. Um, I have two seconds to shave off. More than two seconds to shave off. The fact that I even got silver is something... That I, I would... Honestly, that might be the highest medal I get tonight, depending on how... Patient I feel on actually getting this. So it might be... Join me on this episode of getting a silver medal. <laughs> Very dis... Oh, God. <laughs> wow! Wow! <laughs> I'm not very good at this. How did I knock off like a second and a half? <laughs> I just got to do that one more time and I've got gold. So I think this is what, again, the YouTubers and streamers and the rest of them were talking about because this is just like, I am horrible at this. So they've probably made this really easy to get time because I am struggling hardcore with a wheel and pedals to try to imagine what some people are attempting to do on a controller. Oh my god. 
If you get a gold medal on a controller, like me the video, I want to see that and like include footage of like what you're doing with the triggers. Oh god. I screwed this up. Ah! Yeah. Cuz I know I'm making micro adjustments with the steering wheel here. But I'd love to get like the foot cam back for people being able to watch what I'm doing with the feet because I I feel like that they're just everywhere. <laughs> Don't hit the wall. <laughs> the wall is a bad place. Back on the power. Up at the fourth. Kind of loosely drift around that. Loose all sense of grip and traction. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm three tenths away now. Good god. I. Uh, Alright. I guess we're three tenths away. Cool. Like, I don't feel like I'm making that much improvements anywhere. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> oh. I don't... I guess I'm picking something up. This is all instinctual at this point. I couldn't tell you a damn thing about what I'm doing Oh yeah, so I'm just like doing this micro adjustment here to like really kick out the back end to get it like cornering around this area and I'm breaking a quarter mile in advance here and I couldn't tell you a damn thing about my technique right now. It is called floundering like a fish and hoping to god I'm getting a good time. So this isn't really going to be as much of a guide as it is Please enjoy footage of me floundering like a fish, hoping to God I get a good time. Oh, that was spectacular. That was good. And does floundering like a fish get me any close good to a time? Oh! <laughs> I guess it <laughs> I guess it does. <laughs> oh, I don't deserve that at all. <laughs> I I can't be a rally driver. Oh my god. Otherwise, whatever I just did is if, if uh, some rally talent scouting organization is just like they they want this this entity as their driver. I, I'd be too scared to do this kind of stuff. Because you can even tell there that was messy. That was so messy. It went so wide into the grass there. But like I'm loosely following the apexes. I wouldn't be able to do this with a controller at all. Absolutely not. So thank you for all watching uh, Gran Turismo's S5 gold medal attempt that somehow some way I beat it by five thousandths um, if you enjoy this content make sure to like comment and subscribe we got a couple more Gran Turismo super license tests coming on up hope that you guys will uh, that you guys will be there to witness uh, whatever comes of them so of course thanks so much for watching I hope you guys have a great day today take care bye